One of the things that the crew and I, because we played this ad last week, and one of the things that we were discussing was how easy you were just talking about all of this stuff. It didn't sound like these were rehearsed lines that some marketing firm uh, that they put in a script and you were reading or memorizing somewhere. I mean, you were just, it was just rolling off the tongue and we were just, just, we're pretty amazed by it all. Yeah, there was no script, uh, no script there. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Chad, the guy that did the thing for me said, Darty, I mean, we're just going to let you go. I mean, because we know how you are. So just start talking about all the things that you talk about. So you were ad-libbing in this? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> That's so great. How long did it take for you all to shoot this? Because it looks like you were all just, you were at home doing just basic things that everybody does around the house. It took about five hours. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. And so tell me what the folks in Travis County, how have they received this ad? Well, it seems like everybody has, you know, received it so well. I mean, you know, we really didn't have any idea that this thing was going to take off like this. Um, we thought it was somewhat cute, and uh, but it was very accurate. Um, you know, the, st the stats that I threw out were accurate. and um, But we just thought, hey, it's not going to be an attacking ad. I, I have never uh, run a campaign that way, so it's very consistent with what I've always done in my races. So it wasn't something that people thought, wow, that's kind of odd for Gerald to be doing something like that. Yeah, no, it was. And it, it, it was a it really told who you were without having to attack anyone. And Charlene, tell me about the other individuals that are in the ad, because from what I understand, uh, those that this couple was their friends of yours. They are. And they had no idea what they were going to be asked to do uh, when <laughs> Gerald asked them to come over at 730 on a Sunday morning. Uh, they thought they were extras. And oh. they found out only after they got here what they needed to do. And this ad, did it surprise you at all, either of you, that this ad struck uh, the American people in such a way? Because more people than just Travis County are now seeing this ad. And it, and it seems because it's such a negative election cycle, it, it, it seems that so many people were excited to see a positive ad, which is not something, it's almost as if people aren't familiar with that anymore, that concept. Well, I mean, like I said earlier, it was the kind of ad that, that I would do. Um, I think the thing that has surprised us the most is just how many places the thing has gone. I mean, I remember the first day that it opened, I think there were like 16, 17,000 views. And then it just started growing just sort of exponentially. And I can remember um, asking uh, my lady that runs my office, said, so how many do you have to get before it's viral? And she said, oh, probably about 40,000. Well, I think today it's like some crazy number, like 5 million. Right. Uh, so I guess that's viral.